Okay. Now we're going to get into an entirely different workflow. There's a way you can use the machine inside of FL Studio Step Sequencer as well. There's a few ways of doing it. And I'm going to give you a few options. The first way of using it, we're going to start with the new pattern. Once you have F once you have the machine loaded into FL Studio as a VST, you first need to set up your machine to send audio outputs well actually you need to set up your machine to receive the proper MIDI data because and when you load up the machine and you start let's say you, you're hitting you're hitting your MIDI keyboard it's only accessing whatever selected sound you have or when you go to the piano roll for the machine, again, it's all only one sound. And let's say maybe you want to arrange a, a full drum pattern as you would if you were using the FPC. Um, what you have to do in your machine is go to the, the drop down for the group. And instead of doing the pattern drop, we're going to go to sound back setup this time. And we're going to set sounds to MIDI notes. And the root note here is set to C3. Inside FL Studio, normally, uh, by default, the root note is, is always set to C5. For, so for the sake of, you know, understanding and keeping everything simplified, we're just going to keep the root note on C5. And we'll apply. So now when you go to the piano roll, when you start at C5, Okay, so for whatever reason, it moved it up a few hours, but there you go. So, for those hardcore FL Studio painters, what you can do is... I'm going to switch back to pattern mode. What I'm going to do is I'm going to switch to a separate pattern inside of the machine so that the pattern that we arranged before will not play. I'll switch back to a different pattern. So when I press play, it's playing whatever pattern that I have inside of FL Studio instead. As you can see, there's no pattern data inside of the machine. The pattern is actually inside of FL Studio. So what I'll do is I'll come in here and I'll just arrange the pattern. Studio playlist is normally as you would.
you know, so you can arrange in there that particular way. And, you know, once you get these notes in here, you can go and arrange it inside of your FL Studio playlist as you would any other MIDI note data. 